Hi, I'm Dr Keir Strickland. I'm a senior lecturer in archaeology here at La Trobe and I'm the undergraduate coordinator in archaeology. Before I talk to you about our undergraduate courses in archaeology though, I think it's important to actually explain briefly what archaeology actually is, because it isn't just ancient history or dead rocks and bones. Archaeology is the study of our human past on a global scale from tiny molecular fragments of ancient history, of ancient DNA, etc., right through to entire landscapes. It's the study of material culture, that is the study of any physical object or item that has been affected, transformed or created by people, whether millions of years ago or last week. It's also multidisciplinary. It's an extremely diverse and rich discipline, drawing from an incredible range of different approaches and methodologies, right through from art history and philosophy to physics and chemistry, from anthropology and ethnography through to uh, geology or history. But why study archaeology at La Trobe then? Well, La Trobe has one of the largest archaeology programmes in Australia and one of the best archaeology programmes in the world. We're ranked 56 in the last QS rankings for undergraduate teaching. That places us uh, in the top five in Australia and joint first in Victoria. We've been teaching archaeology for over 50 years now at La Trobe, and we have an extremely large and dedicated team. We also have cutting-edge facilities, both for research but also for teaching, ranging from our Visilabs, which allow us to explore three-dimensional models of the past and archaeological sites, through to three-dimensional scans of artefacts, through to the TARDIS, where we can teach excavation methodology in a safe and controlled environment here on campus. At La Trobe, we have a range of different archaeology courses running from the Bachelor of Archaeology, which only started in 2020, a major in the BA in Ancient Societies and Human Origins, as well as a range of other courses, including a taught Masters of Professional Archaeology, the Cert for in Indigenous Cultural Heritage Management, and a range of research degrees. The Bachelor of Archaeology is probably our main degree. It's a three-year degree. It's the only one of its kind in Victoria and one of the only Bachelor of Archaeologies in Australia. This degree is practically focused with a lot of hands-on options where we actually try and teach you the methodologies and the techniques that you'll need to go out and do archaeology in the field. It also has an extremely wide range of elective subjects allowing you to explore your particular passions or interests within archaeology. The structure of the Bachelor of Archaeology covers the full three years and as you go through the degree, you'll get more and more core content focused on those practical elements in subjects which are exclusive to the Bachelor of Archaeology, that is, they're not available to students in other degrees. In the first year, we'll start fairly broadly, looking at topics in world archaeology, ancient civilizations, and the human journey, exploring the human evolution, how we got here as a species. In second year, we then start to focus in much more on methodology, looking at the archaeology of landscapes in the past and present, and also looking at how we actually excavate sites, as well as doing an introduction to archaeological science. Don't worry, it's not too scientific and it's not too detailed, but it's important to understand how archaeology uses the wide range of scientific techniques available to it. Finally, in third year, we focus much more upon Australian archaeology. We have a subject on Indigenous Australian archaeology, historical Australian archaeology, and also two subjects where we look at how we handle, analyse and process archaeological artefacts and materials. And then around that, you get to fill that in with a range of different archaeology electives. And we have a wide range of elective subjects, everything from the collapse of past civilizations or Asian archaeology, to the archaeology of the Middle East, to uh, ancient DNA and stable isotope analysis, Paleolithic archaeology, the archaeology of art and art of the ancients, extremely broad range and larger than any other Victorian programme. We also have a major in the Bachelor of Arts in Ancient Societies and Human Origins, and this three-year major looks at the development of past societies right through from the Paleolithic, from the very first hunter-gatherer bands of Homo sapiens, right through to the emergence of civilizations and complex urban states. But this is a much more flexible and fluid uh, program than the Bachelor of Archaeology, with a lot more space for electives from across the School of Humanities and Social Sciences. And for the electives in this degree, you get to draw on a wide range of disciplines, including both electives from archaeology, as well as from other disciplines like classics and ancient history, art history, anthropology, history, etc. One of the reasons to come to La Trobe is the wide range of fieldwork opportunities that we offer, from uh, excavations and landscape surveys here in Australia at places like Ned's Corner and Lake Mungo, through to international opportunities in South Africa, Sri Lanka or Nepal. 
Currently, we have research projects active on almost every continent of the world. And students are offered opportunities at various points to engage in these, whether as an honours project, if you go on to honours, or sometimes through structured organised field schools. Students regularly go to South Africa, to Nepal. But we also have a wide number of research projects here in Australia looking at both indigenous and historical archaeology, from the goldfields of Victoria to Lake Mungo. We work very closely with traditional owners, public groups and uh, community groups. Currently we're working closely with the Wurundjeri tribe on a number of projects here in Victoria, as well as local community groups here in Melbourne and exploring the actual sort of historical archaeology and the urban development of the city. We regularly place students on internships and work placement programs, including recently a number of students of ours worked on the Metro Tunnel project. That was the largest historical excavation in Victoria's history. And many of our students then went on to get permanent positions working with those companies. As I mentioned before, we have a number of international study tours and field schools. In 2019, students went to Yorkshire to explore the uh, rich history and archaeology of that particular region, looking at everything from Paleolithic right through to the Industrial Revolution, while I took another group of students to Myanmar to explore the rich heritage of that country, to explore how that heritage is managed, and to explore themes of sustainability, both past and present. We have a regular field school that runs in South Africa on the World Heritage Site of Drimelin, working on the excavation of early human ancestors there and we're hoping to start a new field school in Sri Lanka next year. But what can you do with a degree in archaeology? It's not a career in ruins, thankfully. There's a large number of options and different directions you can take it because it is such a diverse and interdisciplinary subject. Of course, most obviously, you can go on to work as an archaeologist here in Australia. Not everyone realises this is actually a career option, but it's one which most of our students take. But you can also go on to work in cultural heritage management, you can go into teaching, you can go into museum studies, there's really a quite incredible breadth that you can go on to work in using the skills that you learn in this degree. So thank you very much for your time. I've really enjoyed this opportunity to talk to you. It's a shame we couldn't see you face to face, but hopefully we will in the future. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask them. There's a Q&A function here and we'll be very sure to get back to you. In the meantime, stay safe and hope to see you on campus one day.